In this video, we're going to take a look at using the count function in Excel for IGCSE ICT, although it may be useful for just general learning about Excel as well. So there are four count functions that you need to know, and they can all be used in different ways and combined together, but I'm going to go through them step by step. So the first thing is count, then we've got count A, count blank, and count if. Count counts the number of cells that contain only numbers, so if you've got names or letters or words, it will not count them, only numbers on their own. Count A contains text and numbers, so if you've got names or ID numbers or just numbers on their own still, count A will count both of those. The count blank function only counts cells that have nothing in them. A space would still count as text to me, so completely blank cells. So if you've got a a function that doesn't return anything, or a formula that doesn't return anything, or just you haven't entered data, it will count those cells for us. And lastly, the hardest one is count if. So this counts the number of cells that meet a set criteria that you have to set yourself. So you could say, count all the numbers of cars that have sold um, more than 100 or something like that. You can see the example on the screen, count the number of employees who have sold more than 100 cars, or count all number of cars that have got um, less than a thousand cc or something like that. So the purple section range is the group of cells that you want to count and the criteria is an expression or it might be a cell reference or a text string that we need to do. So it might be that you want to say less than 32 or it is equal to apples or you might want to just make it so if it matches the criteria. So let's say you're searching for a specific name. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, is we're gonna take a little look at how to use these in practice. So we've got some data here. We've got a bunch of names, distance of throws, and we've got blanks, we've got numbers, we've got letters. So the number of legal throws, that would be the numbers of throws that have a number in, because if it's blank, they haven't thrown it, and if it's a foul, it's not legal. So we can do equals count brackets and highlight like that. Okay. Sometimes there we go. Sometimes if you're silly, what you might have is a formula view one. If you don't know how to do that, you can go view formulas or if you press the, the button underneath escape and hold control, you can flick between formulas and the actual result. But back to counts. So the number of attempted throws would be the ones with numbers in and fouls. Because they've tried to throw it, but they've messed up. So that one would be count A. So equals count A. Highlight all the cells, press enter. So we've got 11 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which is 16. Then we've got the number of people who didn't take part. So that would be blank ones. So we can do equals count blank brackets all of our cells, and we've got four blanks, one, two, three, and four, is that right? One, two, three, and four, yep. Yeah. And then the last one is fouls. So that one, we're gonna look for a specific criteria. So there's a few ways we can do this. We can do equals count if, do the range, and the criteria, we could type foul, like that, and it'll work. So there's five files, one, two, three, four, five. Or similarly, we could also say, just click this cell here, and it's all the cells that match B5. So let's say you had, you're looking for a city here, and you're using that for, if all the, all the cities that match Berlin, then you might reference this cell here. Some more examples. would be, um, so you've got best throw, worst throw, number of throw, average distance. So average, best, worst, obviously we're just, that's not gonna be count things. So best throw, probably something like equals max. Worst throw equals min, just like that. Number of throws, however, it's just gonna be equals a count in this case. However, if you look at this one, if we drag that down, it says we've got one, two, three. But even if you do a no throw, NT, that would still be a throw. So we can change this to account A. And that should say six. 
then number of fouls equals count. That'll be a count if. So let's go count if highlight my cells. Get the range in there. And then the criteria is NT. Now if I drag that down, because I've been lazy and done it this way, I could just write NT. I would have to make sure that this is an absolute reference, that one doesn't move down. I can then equals average. And then I can simply auto fill down. I can see all that data. So that is it. So we've got count, count A, count if, and count blank. Thank you for watching, hopefully that was helpful and I'll see you in the next video.